All right. Part three, this will probably be about the uh, last video that I shoot for on the nervous system formation because the rest of it is pretty much just memorizing what's going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is the mantle and marginal layer formation. So, um, and this pretty much um, is a transformation of what your um, spinal cord uh, root is going to look like with the dorsal and ventral horn and everything. Okay, so follow along. So first, All right, now I'm going to label some stuff that we don't really need to know. So this, make sure I write it down right. It's the roof plate. Don't need to know that. And this is the floor plate, okay? So this is pretty much our, our neural tube canal. This um, this would be this is black, but this this would be you looking straight down and seeing just a, a, a hole. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is draw the uh, mantle layer. Okay. The mantle layer is going to be the uh, inner layer, and uh, it's pretty much going to become the gray matter. Okay. So. So I'm gonna label this. I'm just gonna label it black. So here, here we are. This, these two things are the mantle layer. Okay. Now this is gonna be our gray matter, which is why it's called the inner layer. And I'm just going to put green dots out here just to show you. I'm just going to do it on one side, okay? But this happens on both. Or just imagine the green dots on both. This is going to be our marginal. Which is going to be our white matter, okay? Now there is one little other tidbit that I would like to put in this video because it's going to bring it all together and hopefully don't get it wrong. Alright, so pretty much you have your um, two mantle layers, right? So this is going to transform into our um, basal and alar plates as you would call. So. If you're following along in the notes, you know where I'm at. All right. So let me make sure I get it right. I don't want to mess it up. The red right here, the red. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Our basal plate, okay? And this is going to turn into our ventral horn. Now don't worry, I'm going to draw another one for the complete formation so you can kind of see what's going on. And this is going to be our alar plate, which is going to be dorsal horn. Okay? So, follow along with me. He's formed. All right? See if I can get this right first time. All right. OK. 
Okay. So this is the formation. You can see that the that the plates are starting to form their actual horns. Okay. We still have the canal. And then I'm just going to draw little dots that are associated. That's about the cutoff point. Okay, so. Alar plate of the mantle layer forms our dorsal horn and the basal plate um, which is also your um, ventral well, uh, excuse me your basal uh, your basal plate is going to turn into your ventral horn, okay, and um, associated with those two, let me get the green marker, um, yeah, we'll get the green, so here, you pretty much have your somatic, motor, neurons, and pretty much here you'll have your sensory. Okay. So I, pr I pretty much broke it down for you. The mantle plate is the gray matter, all right? And then here is our white matter, which comes from our marginal uh, layer, okay? So coming back over here, just a quick run through. Man uh, yeah, mantle layer marginal layer, the mantle layer is precursor to the formation of the dorsal horn and ventral horn, okay? Now, one last thing before I stop the video, when these, these two come um, adjacent or can join together at the junction, everyone knows what this is right here, I'm not going to draw it out, but this would be your lateral horn, which would be um, your, your visceral inner neurons, which would pretty much pertain to um, the ganglia, the parasympathetic, uh, presympathetic, whatever, ganglia and all that. So you would know that associated with this, your thoracic and sacral, probably spelled that wrong. sacral would get your parasympathetic and your thoracic will get your sympathetic.